Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Pepper, I know you're... Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke... Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. Do you need med... I'm afraid I've contract... Not under my watch, nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, miss. I... Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? You keep calling me mortal. Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire.
And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you... Please. I can hear my body crumble from... I'm assuming you must be a patient here. It's only a cover. The staff here are not your enemy. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I see. Thank you, mortal. Who are these enemies you... I cannot say for sure. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Do you require my- I have no need for your med- I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. The pain. Good evening, sir. Unless you're here to f I'm Doctor- You guessed- Soldier. Not really. As long as you remain here- Don't think you can do much about- Goodbye for now, mister. Simple Hello again. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Rip. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Nurse. Good evening. Goodbye. I'm quite busy right now. Do you need my... Don't be ridiculous. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. I wish this hospital could have received... Thank you for your... Good evening, Doctor. Doctor Reed. <laughs> Thank you. I am Thoreau Strickland. Do you need my... You don't have to worry about me. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd... So you believe it's just a... Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Tell me, Thoreau, what's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Ackroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Ackroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Goodbye, Doctor. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. 
Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. I know, it's a difficult task. I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Do you need any... I'm afraid I do. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. That's easy for you to say, Doc. Goodbye, Milton. If only I were young again. Just a dozen years or... Good evening. Doctor... You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Do you need any medical? Come on. Goodbye, Doc. Good evening, Nurse Brett. Good evening, Doc. Do you require... I will be fine. I will see you later. Goodbye, Nurse. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps ultimate expression. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady. The blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so... As a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. 
I take no pleasure in taking a life. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a Skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide but you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel to let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night but we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days. But all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone. But it seemed they have been recruiting. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? 
Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake? I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. It's locked. The flower's dying. It needs water.
Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. 